pious Christians sometimes make me very angry. They don't even know Christianity. They don't know the man they're following. He was a revolutionary. He was a dangerous man. And by God, so am I. And so should you be. This country was founded by dangerous men. And the moment the people in this country cease to be dangerous men, it's going to be the day we cease to have a country. Their whole goal with this philosophy is to teach all men and women that the only end of life is to seek the utmost pleasure and happiness that you can get out of it because when you die there's nothing else. That's what they teach. That's what they want you to be. They don't want laws against sexual promiscuity. That's why they don't want families. That's why they don't want marriage. That's why they encourage homosexuality. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours. Because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. Invisible walls, the wicked sight, guys of life, making grown men crawl on their knees, begging, please save us from the boogeymen. Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks, like a shank to the neck. They hit you from the back, no sweat. Ho check and watch us shake and take away your freedom. You really don't need them when you're tucked away, safe and protected by FEMA. Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender. As the Second Amendment, why I'll never surrender, but I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September. I'ma yell it from the roof. And Expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes To the matrix This is going out to the truthers and patriots Living free and dying hard Speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up Hey what's up folks Permanent Patriot here uh, I've done stories before on this guy Corey Good, And uh, he, he came out with, um, with a, this article he doesn't, you don't really talk too much. <laughs> uh, I don't blame him. But you've got to hear this is incredible. Uh, and this is happening. And this guy is good to go. Cosmic top secret agent. And just, <laughs> just listen, man. So according to him, one side of the conflict, we're in the, we're in the middle of it here. So just bear. Uh, one side of the conflict is positive. Secret Space Program Alliance, comprising of the first secret space program created by the U.S. military and its allies, a number of ancient human space programs and friendly human-looking extraterrestrial races that is genetically linked to humanity. The SSP Alliance essentially wants surface humanity to learn the truth about its ancient space programs, extraterrestrial visitation, and free energy technologies. Most significantly, the SSP wants to put an end to exploitive global financial system that has economically enslaved much of humanity. Now, that talk right there is exactly something that the devil would say. We want to give you our technologies and we want you to be free from this global financial system. One world government. See, I'll keep telling you folks, these aren't aliens. There's nobody out there to help you. They're fucking demons. They could care less about you. They want your soul. 
They want to be you. You don't even want to know how these things go to the bathroom. Let alone fucking do anything else. On the other side of the undeclared war is a negative alliance comprising the first corporate run space program called the Interplanetary Corporate Conglomerate and its allies. These comprise ancient Earth bloodline families called the Cabal, the Illuminati. Uh, reptilian extraterrestrials called the Dracos that come from outside our solar system. And finally, this native alliance comprises portions of a dark fleet comprising humans connected directly or ideologically to the former Nazi SS that, that normally operate outside the solar system. But were trapped inside a recently imposed solar system wide quarantine. In his answers to questions below, Corey refers to this negative alliance as the Cabal. Draco, Dark Fleet, Illuminati. Okay. According to him, his latest disclosures, the recent halt in large scale hostilities has come at the request of a third recently arrived group of extraterrestrials called the Sphere Alliance. And I've covered them before. Uh, Corey claims that the, the Blue Avians, one of five extraterrestrial civilizations making up the Sphere Alliance, have been physically contacting him and taking him to various diplomatic meetings where the conflicting forces have held dialogues. The Sphere Alliance have far superior technology to any of the conflicting space program alliances and have implemented a solar system-wide quarantine. This has created havoc with the Cabal that pre previously were the dominant power on Earth. This is sounding like something angelic. Okay, because there's no, there's no other people out there. It's just us, the demons, and the angels. Top, the first two, you got the Cabal, the Illuminati. And now there's these motherfuckers coming in. System, solar system-wide quarantine. That is something God would do. Just shut all the motherfuckers down. And he says he's communicating. Um, it's growing. It's led to a growing defection from the cabal. And they're starting to infight. And communicating directly with through an unnamed lieutenant colonel. This is where he's getting all this. And his response is the question below. Corey describes the complex dynamics of the conflict outlined above. The outcomes of recent diplomatic meetings, SSP alliance problems with handling defectors who are overly eager to launch armed attacks against their former cabal-led SSP's allies. And yeah, folks, you think you think that, uh, I mean, folks, the elites are going to figure this out eventually, too, that they've been fucking had. They're going to start infighting with each other. The Rockefellers and Rothschilds are already infighting. Rockefeller's fucking mad because he doesn't have as much money as he does. Anywho. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. I don't know. He describes the two attacks that led to many civilian deaths on Mars underground Earth bases, thereby leading to the Sphere Alliance request for an end to large-scale hostilities. Corey discusses a controlled disclosure plan by the Cabal that will attempt to deceive people in a way that perpetuates cabal control he contrasts this with the ssp alliance disclosure plan of massive official document dumps like wikileaks and television broadcasts that will reveal the truth about humanity's situation and lead the nuremberg war crime trials like against former leaders of cabal okay this is uh i mean it's history repeating itself <laughs> what the fuck folks that's what it is. Uh, and I don't know if you noticed, but lately on TV, they're having an awful lot of fucking television shows telling the truth. Now, do you remember just a few years ago? Not many years ago at all. You'd have to be out of your mind to even think that they would put stuff like this on television. Ancient aliens? Get the fuck out of here. Never would anybody think of putting that on television. So, how come all of a sudden, out of the bright blue, 
Now, oh yeah, sure. Here, now they're coming out with it. Why were they trying to hold it all those years? Hello? This is a fucking plan. They... Now, folks, if we figured this out in 1947, when we were supposed to, we would have known that these were fucking demons. What they want us to think is that this is an extraterrestrial race from outside of the planet who's come here to save humanity from the globalist fucking bankers ruining the world and stealing from everyone. It's not gonna happen. You'll know when the people to save you are here to save you. You can't believe in something up there. You just can't. They got the fucking holograms now and shit. That's why there's that saying, uh, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Okay. Look, they ask him questions, and you would, I mean, we haven't even started the story yet. Anywho. So before the breakdown and overall relations between the factions that were once untied through the secret Earth governments uh, and their controllers, there has been quite a lot of chaos among these groups, which has resulted in them turning on each other. This led to a conflict at various underground undersea network facilities that have been responsible for some of the earthquakes in recent months that have been occurring across the planet, as well as some incidents on Mars and other bodies in the solar system. Many of these groups were beginning to turn on each other for the recent Draco Allied Conference, where I was acting as a delegate for the Sphere Alliance. This is the meeting where a 14-foot repti white reptilian royal was present and made an offer to the Sphere Being Alliance for safe passage of, of their royals to be able to exit the outer barrier. The human community of 200 was present for this meeting and witnessed the exchange. They were visibly shocked when this occurred and it was soon after this that not only the major disinformation war began, but also the chaotic infighting between the elite groups. Over the last six months, there have been some defections of assets from the Cabal. <laughs> yep. Sure has remnants of the Dark Fleet uh, that were not caught outside of the Outer Barrier as well as the various other military Black Ops program members. Some of them brought with them time-critical and actionable intelligence that was acted on by some of the SSP Alliance leadership and their new allies without bringing it to the SSP Alliance Council. This resulted in two massive attacks that caused large numbers of innocent deaths. Those, two, those who took part and what the Blue Avians called atrocities were unapologetic and stated that it was the cost of war, but the collateral damage was regrettable. This caused a rift between some of the SSP Alliance Council who had different ideas on how they should proceed, as well as some mistrust of the new defectors from the other SSPs that had recently joined and also obviously had a different moral outlook and idea of the rules of engagement. In the first big joint conference with the SSP Alliance and the SSP Alliance or SSP Alliance Council and the SSP Alliance begins that appeared. The question was asked of the Blue Avians. If you don't, if I never showed you a picture of the Blue Avians, they're just like humans, except their skin is blue. They got this bluish like hair and uh, head, face like a bird. And they don't speak, they communicate telepathically. Uh. They worked out a future plan, post full disclosure plan, with the SSP Alliance sometime earlier to free all of the inhabitants of these facilities, provide them assistance and recovery of what they had been through, as well as a handover of all these assets to the post disclosure era civilization of Earth. This infrastructure 
that was built for negative purposes along with all of the suppressed technologies would be disclosed to every single person to earth simultaneously and the beginning of what the SSP Alliance had dreamed of which is a Star Trek civilization. Other men, some other than some authorized operations that to weaken the cabal on earth, the SSP Alliance and their allies have agreed to rules of engagement and timeline laid out by the sphere being Alliance and SSP Alliance Council. Post full disclosure event, these bases will be open and no conflict will be needed to remove the occupants to another area where one of the allied groups will offer their resources of physical and emotional healing. Folks, if somebody comes down here and says that they're God, or says that they created us, run the opposite fucking direction as fast as you can. You'll know when God comes. Or you'll know that it's an angel there helping you and not a demon. Let's use some fucking common sense. And listen. There's a whole fucking lot more to the story. I mean, it's unbelievable. But this is real shit, folks. I know people of Cosmic Top Secret. This is, th these are the groups in Cosmic Top Secret. Of course, you won't hear about that on fucking space.com or NASA. You hear, you ever hear NASA talk about any of this? No, they're too busy cropping photos. Fuck you, NASA. Nazi. NASA. Hello. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.